Jeannie's here just one week after that surgery you just saw. We're going to get to her in just a second. But first, we do have Dr. Charles Lee, the surgeon you saw performing Jeannie's surgery, along with another patient, Cindy, who not only had the surgery, she loves it and wants to do it again for even bigger eyes. Jeannie Mai is also here from Style Network's How Do I Look? And Jeannie believes that this surgery has gone way too far. And Dr. Lee, let's start with you because you're the one performing this surgery. What do you see as the benefit of doing this? Well, I think that uh, larger eyes are more beautiful. And this type of surgery gives you a, a fold that will allow you to put makeup on more easily and it gives a bigger look to your eyes. For me, when you just said that bigger eyes are more beautiful, mm -hmm. that hurts. That really hurts me because I really love the shape of my eyes. Yeah. And I remember all growing up always was just always in pictures. Open your eyes bigger when you take your pictures. And you know, when I started to learn how to do makeup, make sure to, to line your eyes so that they look bigger. And as I dreamed to become a television host, my parents would always say, and actually my mom would say, you know, a lot of white women are on television now, so if you want to become a television host, you probably want to look more like them so they don't see that you look too different. Is your objection to the operation that uh, you shouldn't have to have a, a plastic surgery procedure to beautify the eyes, is that your point? My or point is, is it that, that you should be proud of who you are and you shouldn't need to alter who you look like? I got both because every single person was made to be completely individual. You look different, uh, but just when I, naturally when I, born. When I see you, when I see you right now, I see big eyes. I see uh, eyelash eyelash extensions to make the eyes look even bigger. So the only difference between what you're doing and what I'm doing is that I'm using a knife and you're using makeup. The problem that I see is that the surgery itself is polluting our culture. Our culture. It, it, we, as an Asian, I'm the only one that gets to have Asian eyes. I think that's amazing and beautiful, and I want to preserve that. However, to look prettier, which I understand, because I wear makeup to look prettier. I, 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 like, I like the way I look without makeup, but I like the different styles I can get through makeup. And I, for me, when you say I can use makeup, you can use the knife, for me, just watching that, that to me looks hurtful. I, it looks painful, and also, I can make my eyes five times bigger than what I have well, now I, through just if makeup I can interject and wash it off myself. The comment that you made earlier that, uh, that it's polluting um, the, the culture. culture. Uh, but I think that is maybe just a, a comment that you could make about plastic surgery in general because there are people that are saying that all these breast augmentations that are out there are polluting our culture. Absolutely. So in that We're regard, talking about okay, you know, it, maybe yes, maybe no. But I think that it's unfair to single out double eyelid surgery. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm surprised that it's controversial, actually. But so I, I am an Asian American, but I would say that my pressure came not from the Western culture, but from the Asian culture. Western culture, I think sometimes people, I've heard, heard people get comments saying your eyes are sleepy, you know, your eyes are small and they look sleepy. I actually was fortunate never to have that. On the other hand, I felt pressure from my Asian counterparts to not so much fix my sleepy looking eyelids. It was more so the obligation that I felt to look pretty. See now, th what she's just said right here, that's where it crosses the line. That's where it crosses the line, where we're saying that looking Asian isn't as beautiful the as looking is, Caucasian. We don't, and that's sad. Wait, wait, let me explain. If you put pictures of Caucasian eyes next to an Asian eye, next to an Asian with double eyelids, they are completely different. Now, 50 years ago, the, the way their doctors were performing double eyelid surgery, they were trying to take off all the fat and make the eyelid as high as possible. So that is considered westernization because they were not regarding the fact that our anatomy is different. Here, nowadays, Doctors make it a point to put this, the picture of the anatomy of a Caucasian eye next to an Asian eye and tell you there are limitations to what you do. And the double eyelid that they give most patients is flattering to an Asian eye. So we don't see it as westernizing our eye. We see it as only giving us you know, a more prettier, softer look. And for Asian eyes particularly, we benefit from having that crease. Only Asian eyes benefit from the fold because it frames our eyes and can gives I, us the I, I think it just opens up the eyes. Well, it makes well, the well, eyes pop a little more. That is not the, the rhetoric that you were getting. You were getting white women are in TV. You better get this surgery if you want to work. That seemed to be the pressure. You say round eyes are more beautiful. That's the part that's heartbreaking. 